Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we're looking at level two of how to work with LEDs. Today, it's all about managing power. As always, it's important to know your abilities and limitations when you're working with something like electronics. Understand your own capabilities, and if there's something you don't know, do a little research first. Because ultimately, you're responsible for your own safety and the safety of the equipment that you're working with. In level one, we cover basic information about working with LEDs, especially regarding the power component. Now, the voltage isn't a lot, but in this video, you may start wanting to look at some other options for sources of power that require more, such as plugging directly into an outlet. That's why today we're going to talk about using resistors with our projects. Now, sometimes when you're buying your LEDs, they come with resistors in the package, but not always. And when I'm working with AC power, USB power, or multiple LEDs, I do want to make sure that I have a resistor in place to protect my diode. I've seen people hook resistors up to the negative lead, but I prefer to always go to the positive lead. This way, no matter what I've done to the diode, I always know where the polarity needs to run. I always can identify the positive lead. There's a formula for calculating the resistance that you're going to need, and it's not that challenging. Actually, all you need to know is the power supply voltage, the LED voltage rating, as well as the LED current rating. If you can, grab that information off the packaging for your LEDs, and then you're going to take the supply voltage, subtract the LED voltage, and then divide it by the LED current value. To make it even easier, grab a calculator and use this example. You end up needing a 150 ohm resistor so that you can make your LED safe to operate with a 5 volt supply. If I don't end up having the exact resistor I need for a project, I always go a little bit higher and then just let that be safe for the particular LED I'm working with. And then, before I actually assemble the final project, I always test it. I'll get some alligator clips, or my preference, grab a breadboard, plug everything in and make sure it works. Then I can begin soldering and end up with some really fun, interesting looking projects. These images are from a couple of test runs I did on projects that I'm looking forward to sharing with you in some future videos. My next LED informational video is going to be a level 3 video, and it's going to be about hooking up multiple LEDs so that you can connect them in series or connect them in parallel. Come back and check us out. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.